what you want to like expand haven't mm. you like i said the, the one of the things that kind of touched me and obviously you, you've spoken about it quite a lot today is like your past you spoke about that in in the live that you did um a lot of people reached out to myself to say how much of an inspiration you are did you get any sort of feedback yourself from anyone reaching out to, to you or yeah or Gov, when you said that you know when you feel the hairs on the back of your neck stand up yeah so i was just i think i've been to work you know what i mean one day and i'm just sat there and i get to ping a facebook messenger message off somebody and uh this lad messaged me and he said oh i've just been watching your live because i think i shared that on my own profile as well and so this lad messaged me and uh and he said like his brother died of a heroin overdose as well and uh and he was like you know if you can ever go back to that rehab and share that story and all that and i was sat there gov and I just started crying reading them. I feel like emotional now saying it, you know, and I started crying reading that message. And my wife's like, what's wrong with you? And I mean, at that time I was drinking as well. Do you know what I mean? And, and uh, it was mad cause we met up, didn't we? In uh, January, whenever it was. And this person came in and it's like, you know, when you just feel a connection with somebody. Yeah. And then later that night, you asked him how we come to join the Yubi's group. Yeah. And he was like, oh, well, I watched this live video. And I was like, fucking hell, is that you? <laughs> do you know what I mean? And it was just like mad golf, do you know? And and that's what, you know, before we've done this today, you said, is anything, you know, you don't want me to mention and stuff like that. And, go, and you know, for one person to sort of contact me like that, it, it makes like exposing myself and being honest about me past worth a gov do you know yeah it, it, it's it's crazy because the one thing that unites us all is property i mean that's the reason we're sat right here is because yeah. we both got into property but the story that you have and and what someone else went through and what someone else went through and how this is all interconnected is just crazy like i said what are the chances that you were just open and honest about your past and then for someone to reach out to you and say like i watched it and and I know, I know that person was quite emotional as well. And then to send a message to you to say, thank you for like, for being so open and honest about it. I can totally relate to your story. And then for you to get emotional about it as well. Yeah, it's just, it's, 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 it's insane. It's insane. That's just mad, Gov. And, and, and that's the thing. And I mean, you know, somebody could be watching this, Gov, and there might be, you know, a lot of people, you know, they know they drink too much, don't they? And you know, and, and this, if anyone wants to reach out as well, and what what because you're probably the best example of someone who's been through like from like twelve years old, feeling a certain type of way and in, in not fitting in in school, then obviously probably just hanging around with the wrong crowd, doing drugs, doing drink, moving in and out of places, being homeless at one point as well. If someone's life they felt like they were going down that path, what what's the best advice you could probably give them? It's, it's change isn't it why is your life like that you know what you know like we said we touched on Gov, what's what choices are you making you know we can all blame external you know where we live the people we live with the people we around or whatever but it's self-responsibility Gov, at the end of the day you know and um you know i made all them decisions myself Gov. you know nobody forced me to do it so how can you change you know what what can you do differently you know if you're in a crap relationship abusive relationship with someone then remove yourself out of that situation you know and it might not always be easy to do and make that change but um life's too short to be unhappy isn't it you yeah. know and and it, and it is so if there's something not right in your life then change it for yeah that's always the probably the hardest step of anything that you do when it comes to change is can you get yourself to break out of that mold and actually and 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 this is not this is not to say one thing is right or the other because people are put in situations that they never asked for yeah. um and the path that they take as a result of their situation is is some respects in their control uh, and, and in some respects it's dependent on the decisions that they make and whether yeah. they want to change it I think your your story is just absolutely incredible. Like I said, to, to go from everything that you went to, the lowest point in your life, to turning it around, wanting to do everything for yourself, wanting to do everything for your daughter is just incredible. Obviously now you've